Hey, what's up guys? Jared Beckstrand here, physical therapist, toneandtighten.com, coming at you today with a 12-minute standing ab workout. All you're gonna need for this one, one dumbbell. Let's get to it right now. When we think of core strengthening, a lot of time we think of mat work. We think of sit-ups, crunches, planks, side planks, things like that that are actually down on the ground. And while those things are certainly important, there's so much more to it than just that. When we think of core strength, when we think of especially kind of functional movement patterns, rarely are we down on the ground. We're, we're up, we're lifting, we're squatting, we're moving, reaching. There's all these different activities that we do that are rarely down on the ground that require a ton of core strength. Again, we would refer to that as as functional core strength. And so that's what this workout is focused on. The other thing that we're gonna focus on is basically the three-dimensional movements that are capable at our core. Again, so many times we get into these crunches, sit-ups, everything's moving kind of in this one plane of motion, straight forward, straight back. We're gonna get out of that with these exercises today as well. We're gonna focus a lot on some lateral bending, some rotating in addition to that forward and back. Makes this one of my favorite exercises. Now, all you need is just one dumbbell for this. In the video, I used a 10. It's a great starting weight. If you're maybe a little bit more of a beginner intermediate, pick a little bit lighter weight, kind of like a three to eight pound, maybe a five pound dumbbell range. It's a great starting place for beginners. Also in this workout, I'm going to show you a couple different versions of each exercise. We'll go through a beginner version and an advanced version. Do whatever is right for you. Try to push yourself with it, but also you should be able to find something that fits your individual needs. Now, finally, for this workout, we're gonna do it in an interval format. What we're doing is a 50-10 interval. So we'll do 50 minutes of work followed by 10 seconds of kind of an active rest between each exercise. We're gonna get through everything in about 12 minutes. So it's a great workout. It's it's gonna stand alone as a great workout, but it's also a great kind of finishing workout. Like if you're all done with your workout, have about 10 or 12 more minutes, wanna shred through some abs, this is a great way to do it. So with no further ado, let's get down to it. All right, here we go, 12 minute standing ab workout. So I'm gonna start with my weight right in front of me. Let's get going with some standing dumbbell crunches. So again, weight's in front of you. As you bring your weight down towards your waist, you're gonna bring your knee up towards the weight and then kind of knee in the middle. The objective here is to keep that core, to keep your stomach sucked in nice and as tight as possible. This is the beginner version of this exercise. We're gonna shoot for 50 seconds. I'll demonstrate the beginner version for 25 and now if we want to take things up a level, we're going to go into the full overhead standing dumbbell crunch. Now that weight is all the way up over my head and I'm really trying to elongate my torso, make my basically make my abs as long as I can up at the top of the crunch and then as short as I can down at the bottom, alternating legs back and forth. The emphasis, again, we want to squeeze the dumbbell and so we're trying to press together and then we're also trying to squeeze the abs as the legs come up and the arms come down. So there's your first 50 second exercise. Again, we'll do a 50 second work interval followed by a 10 second rest period. Next, we're going to be doing a rotating dumbbell crunch. So again, beginner version, we're going to go um, this is the, so the dumbbells on my right side crunching over to the outside of my left knee. So you see my right elbow, I wanna get that right elbow down towards and even outside of that left knee. Right elbow comes down and across my body, left knee comes up and across my body and they kinda of meet in the middle again. So you see the dumbbells at about eye level beginner version. To kick that up to the more advanced version, we're just gonna go through a much bigger motion. This actually becomes a really good shoulder workout as well as you're going all the way up and over your head and you're coming all the way down into the crunch. Again, our emphasis here is squeezing that dumbbell. So I want you to squeeze the dumbbell as much as you can. And then we're also squeezing the abs throughout the whole way down. You should feel this one activate those oblique muscles a little bit more. So the muscles out on the side of your abs are where we're after as we add in that rotational component. All right, so that was one minute, one direction. And so now we're gonna go the same 50 second work interval to the other direction. So here I'm the dumbbells high and left. We're rotating down kind of low and right. And so my outside, so my left elbow is trying to hit outside of my right knee. Again, your emphasis, squeeze that core nice and strong. So we want those abs nice and tight. We wanna hit that rotation 
Again, that's kind of the demonstration of the beginner version. If you need something a little bit more advanced, we're going to go dumbbell all the way up and over your head and then make the contraction even harder. We're going to go through basically a bigger range of motion to work the muscles a little bit harder to get more fiber activation with that. And so you guys are looking good. Try to challenge yourself. Try to push yourself. If the beginner version is too easy, try to do some of these more advanced moves. If the advanced moves are too difficult, take it down to kind of the beginner moves. You guys, the, the goal is that you just want to push yourself as hard as you can. Let's get into our next exercise. It's going to be a rotating curtsy lunge. So to drop into a curtsy lunge, you're going to take a step to your right. Left leg drops back behind you. Um, you kind of drop down into that little quarter half lunge position. Again, this is kind of the beginner version of this exercise. You'll see that my dumbbell is kind of right at chest level. Elbows are bent as I'm rotating my shoulders. And so you'll see that as I step with this one kind of back into the left or back into the right, the dumbbell, I ro rotate away from it. Now, if you need something a little more difficult, what we're going to do is kick that up a level by actually holding that dumbbell straight out in front of you. So now arms are straight, and so it definitely works the shoulders, works the chest a little bit more as you hold that dumbbell out there. But now all of a sudden we get a much bigger, basically lever arm. The principles of torque apply a little bit bigger force in order to move that lever arm through that motion. And so we work the abs a little bit harder as we do it back and forth, that way with the arms extended. Nice job, you guys. Looking strong. All right, and so now we're going to get into some standing oblique side bends. Again, beginner version here. Dumbbells in my right hand. Left hand is up behind my head. I'm going to drop basically my right hand as low as I can. The goal is to get your right hand all the way from the top of your hip to the top of your knee with this movement. Um, really try to emphasize that top of the crunch. I want you to bend all the way over. The problem that I see most often is people stop at upright. I want you to bend all the way over. If you need something a little bit more aggressive, all of a sudden we're going to take that whole left side. So you'll see the dumbbell still in my right hand. Now the left hand reaches all the way up and over my head and actually over to my right side, really trying to elongate those left obliques as much as I can. And then the crunch takes place as I drop that left um, elbow towards my left knee. I'm also actually elevating my left knee up towards that left elbow. That is what your standing oblique side bends are going to look like on the left side. So now let's get into them on the right side. So again, we'll start out with just the beginner version. Uh, try to push yourself as hard as you can. Beginner version is dumbbells in your left hand, right hands up behind your head. You're going to drop your shoulders kind of down towards that left side. Again, that left hand comes to the top of the left knee and then pulls all the way up to the left shoulder. Is again what the beginner version looks like. If we need something a little bit more advanced, try to push yourself on this. Now we're going to reach over head with that right hand right knee comes up as the left or excuse me right knee comes down or right knee comes up as the right elbow comes down there we go I'll get it out and so again the emphasis here is really trying to squeeze those obliques together we're taking them through a much greater range of motion so it's just going to work more of the muscle a little bit more effectively try to push yourself try to do as many as you can nice job you guys and so there's your 50 second work period on those standing oblique side bends Next, we're going to get into a plie squat and twist. And so the feet are out just you know, a little bit wider than the hips, a little bit wider than the shoulder, kind of drop down into a little squat. And then as you come up out of it, you're going to kind of power and rotate to one side. So here's a little bit of a squat rotate left, come back into a squat, rotate right. You'll see again the beginner version of this, that dumbbell's right up against my chest. I'm doing just kind of a mini squat and then I'm going to power to from side to side. The more advanced version, we're going to come down lower into a squat and then we're just going to extend at the elbows. And so again, same principles apply here. The further that weight gets away from me, the more my abs have to work, the more my core has to work to both initiate as well as slow down that rotation motion. And so a nice job, you guys. Only three seconds left on this exercise. Okay, and there is our 50 seconds on that one. So 50 second work interval, 10 second rest interval, and then we'll get into our next exercise. It's going to be some curtsy overhead bends. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to hold that weight in front of us. 
we're going to drop down into that curtsy squat and again the uh, or excuse me curtsy lunge the premise of this is that I really were trying to work all these muscles through all the different motions that they're capable of so as you drop into that curtsy lunge again here's my right foot dropping back behind my left and to the outside of my left and then I'm gonna raise that dumbbell we're actually gonna go overhead and we're gonna side bend now if you need something a little more aggressive so you'll notice that on those I was only doing oh maybe like a quarter to a half of a lunge now we're gonna drop all the way down so I'm dropping down all the way into a full curtsy lunge that's how you push yourself a little bit harder but again the emphasis here is that we're going to really roast those obliques and so I want you to take that weight as far over your head as you can and then bring it back down to that neutral position nice job you guys and so those were our curtsy overhead bends to the left and now let's do those curtsy overhead bends over to the right and so again a uh, beginner version so again you'll see that I just, I'm just doing a you know, quarter to maybe a half of a lunge there so the motion doesn't have to be big to be effective you guys and then also with that dumbbell uh, over my head and then we're just initiating that side bend motion with it looks just like that again the curtsy lunge over with the overhead bends working those oblique muscles in this side to side range of motion if you need something more aggressive here we go let's drop down lower into a lunge and then we'll also take that weight over further and so from neutral here up and over as far as you can to the right as low as you can in the in the curtsy lunge and then back up to upright the emphasis here we're trying to fill that in those uh, left side obliques and so it's actually the muscles as you're reaching away from the weight as you're reaching kind of up and over to the opposite side it's the muscles that are being stretched and then the muscles that have to contract to bring you back upright those are the ones that we're working looking good you guys let's jump into some wood chops one of my favorites and so the, again the beginner version of this wood chop what we're doing here is we're going dumbbell from my left hip up to my right shoulder and then back down emphasis here you can really try to squeeze that dumbbell to get a really good muscle contraction core should be nice and tight keep your stomach stomach sucked in and then also we're just rotating side to side so we get a lot of well I like this exercise well here we go and so a more advanced version we're actually going to reach overhead so overhead come up with the leg back overhead back down with the weight so high and right crunch up with the left leg crunch all the way down with that weight and so kind of a uh, kind of a learned motion here but again the emphasis is I want you to go not only high to low but I also want you to go left to right so we're not only introducing kind of the forward and back plane of motion but we're also introducing some rotation with it as well nice job you guys looking strong hey we're at the 10 minute mark right now let's keep going here we go another couple of exercises left so again we're gonna go from we're gonna hit the wood chop at the other direction now and so up and over my left shoulder down to my right hip again the goal here what I want you to focus on keep your hips forward so don't let your hips rotate but let your shoulders rotate like crazy that's what's gonna promote those muscle that muscle activation in your core now if we need something a little more aggressive here we go so we're gonna go on this one so we'll go high and left low and right with that knee crunch back up to high and left back down to low and right without the knee crunch so overhead knee crunch back overhead all the way down overhead crunch your knee up and then all the way down just a great exercise we're working a ton of shoulders here we're working a ton of core just a great exercise all around you guys are definitely feeling this by now I know it. you've only got two exercises left actually I'm st I stand corrected you guys you only got one exercise left here we go finish strong here we go so now we're gonna get down into this uh, kind of a plie side bend crunch so drop as low as you can into a plie squat you're gonna hold that as best you can while you're just gonna move that dumbbell from side to side again here's our beginner version of this exercise and so you'll notice that the motion doesn't have to be very big to be effective and so you're just focusing on those lateral oblique muscles as you're bending side to side here we go advanced drop down lower into the squat weight comes higher over your head and now you'll see that my emphasis is getting those elbows all the way down to my thighs that's your goal all the way down up and over just like that you guys finish strong we only got 10 seconds left here we go push hard hold that squat legs are burning um, cores burning those obliques are on fire with this one finish strong and time nice job you guys okay let's march it out here for about 10 seconds kind of an active rest active recovery period and nice job you guys you just shredded your way through this 12 minute standing ab workout